There are three distinct elements that make our piano project unique. The pianos are placed on the street prior to being painted in most cases. We partnered with special community groups to paint each piano. We place the pianos in iconic locations that are selected by musicians. We then help activate each piano by hosting free concerts and lessons on them through the Piano Teachers Federation. When I first saw the piano on Grouse Mountain, I was really excited. I, I didn't know what to expect, um, but when I saw it on our outdoor patio, it just seemed like it had always been there. The first time I saw the piano, because it was this bright blue color, I, I think I first thought it was just a, um, a piece of art. As soon as we heard the piano on, in the street, we, you know, immediately I'm thinking, where's that from? Where's that from, right? I first heard the piano being played when we were on site with the youth actually decorating the piano. And it was being played by um, two individuals who had never met before. You, you can't help but wanting to get involved. I mean, it's just, it's just infectious. You want to go and play. And actually, the, uh, other times, the first I saw one of the installations, it was already being played. So there, my, my thing was, I'm just going to sit down and enjoy this. Well, when I first saw the public piano in the community, it was before we painted it. <laughs> so I was excited about how we were going to do it, and we had some artists who are co-workers in our program who had made a, a design. To play first on the piano, it was something really uh, intense because you're in this uh, place where there's a lot of traffic. You have the bus coming in, the kids running, the people coming back from work, there's a mall, you have the street and people honking. And at one point, pause, and we start to play piano, and people sit, take a, a seat on the chair, and the sun comes out. It was actually the sunrise. It was perfect. It was beautiful. I was taking so many pictures, I, I had no more space on my, uh, on my phone. <laughs> All right, I got one more song for you. This song is just a little fun song called I Feel Lucky. inspiration of the project was that it was something that all ages and, and levels of skill could be involved in. So it was wonderful to see, you know, I would, I'd see another older adult like myself uh, come there with, with actually some music and sit down and take it very seriously and play. I think it really benefits the community because it animates our public spaces. Uh, they're not just a place to go and have a coffee anymore, it's a place that you can actually sit and, 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 and hear some music and, and see the talents of others and really make the space come alive with, with culture and with enjoyment. Having uh, this idea of, of um, including the children in painting pianos makes it a public art piece, which I think is a, which is a really neat idea. It made me feel like back in kindergarten, because when I was coming, we did a lot of hand printing, and it just looks really, yeah, yeah it looks really nice. And we've never really done something like that, to like yeah. paint a piano at Grouse Mountain. When Robbie told us, we're just like, we want to do it! And we were so worried that, because we might have not been here this week, we didn't know, and, we're relieved that we get, got to do it. It was super fun. I think painting the piano had a really large impact on the youth who were involved in it. Um, it's not often that they're able to work on projects that actually make a difference in their, in their physical environment where they are. So I think that it was just in, like a profound experience for them to be able to paint something and add something to their neighborhood um, that they could be proud of. Having the diversity that we have in BC and especially in the urban areas like Burnaby, um, I would like to think that we are very enriched with different cultures, different languages, different cuisines, um, different people of all walks of life.
with diversity comes differences. And when we do find that common thread, which I think piano is perfect, it doesn't matter if you speak Iranian or Korean, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a language that everybody understands. And then, of course, you know, the, the art on it. I don't want to forget the visual art, because that's really one of the wonderful things about the project, is that it combines the, the music with the visual art. Embracing uh, music and, uh, in, and, and allowing uh, people to express themselves in public, it's always a great thing. But when we um, look at how um, it involves the folks from the Cascadia house, and they painted the piano this uh, beautiful blue color and, and added their own personal touches, you know, there wasn't really anything to do with music in that, but, but rather just an expression of art. And these are people with um, um, developmental disabilities. So, you know, it brought the community together. I'm going to play some music for you. Uh, like I said, I do the blues. This one's called Res Blues. This project has meant so much to us as a group, but also as individuals. Um, I know through that, through social media and Facebook, it's been great to see all the different videos that get posted up. In Vancouver, I would like to say that it's a big network, but it's actually kind of a small network because everyone kind of knows somebody else. So it's meant a lot because you, you're able to see different videos and um, kind of musical talents from people that you wouldn't even expect. Once again, I want to thank uh, Casey's Pianos for doing this wonderful thing and bringing music to the masses. I would love to see a piano return to our mountaintop throughout the summertime um, moving forward. And on a larger scale, I'd love to see this happen in, in more areas throughout the Lower Mainland next year. I think there are lots of very cool opportunities for people to sit down and be able to play music. And there might be other creative locations that just haven't occurred to us yet. It was a really good community building project, whether the one in Newton or we had another one in Central, in, in, at Surrey Central, and that one again, there were people from all over the place that came, a lot of students, a lot of people in the area that would come and use the piano, so it really was a, a connector and brought people together. And I would love to see it grow so that it's not just in our core areas, but maybe around our schools or around our public recreation centers or other places where people gather. So I'd be a big advocate to see if we can get more pianos out there in areas for people to share their talents. One of the things that BC is known for is uh, how we express our culture and I think that that's um, um, an opportunity that we will, will be wasted if we don't continually support culture and the arts. Very rarely do I come, come across an initiative that is positive, exciting, brings the community together. So it's something that uh, I was very happy to support and look forward to it next year. It's a fun project and there was vision involved with it. The first time we've done anything like that, which was a really exciting opportunity to try something really new and innovative. This project deserves to uh, continue in as many years as it, uh, it possibly can. The one word I would use to describe the project is joy. Inspiring. Fun. Awesome. Fantastic. Play. Uh, phenomenal. If I just really have to choose one word, it'll be, it'll be um, serendipity.